Hey everyone, Hubert Kolko with Marissa Pichano here, and today we'll be talking about the Roman Groschen RM5001. If you love this watch or anything else you see on our website, email me directly at hubert at marissapichano.com. Now let's dive in. Richard Mill's creations are always extraordinary, but what we have here is truly rare and enough to make your heart skip a beat. The Caliber RM5001 is a manual winding tourbillon movement featuring a G sensor, hours, minutes, and a central seconds chronograph complications. It's the ultimate timepiece for car enthusiasts and is limited to only 30 pieces worldwide. It truly is a testament to what Richard Mill has to offer. RM has ingeniously adapted a mechanical G sensor to the worlds of rally racing, golf, and now Formula One as the next logical step especially with the skyrocketing popularity of Formula One here in the United States. This piece was designed in collaboration with Roman Groschen himself. In case you're not familiar, Roman is a Swiss-French professional racing driver currently competing in the IndyCar series, driving the number 28 Honda for Andretti Autosport. Previously, Groschen spent nine full-time seasons in Formula One, achieving an impressive 10 podium finishes, all with Lotus which is why you can see his influence reflected on the dial with the Lotus co-branding and color scheme. Racing is all about analytics. The teams must know everything about their vehicle. It is in that spirit the RM5001 uses a functional indicator, a gearbox, sort of say, which shows whether the movement is in winding, neutral, or hand setting mode depending where the crown is positioned. Which is pretty cool because you never have to second guess where you are when you're setting the watch, and you get to say your timepiece as a gearbox. RM added a mechanical G4 sensor, a mechanism able to transcribe a range of Gs endured by the driver during the acceleration phases. I don't know who's looking at their watch at those kinds of speeds, but nevertheless, it is extremely cool, especially in comparison to Rally Driver's Sebastian Locke's limited edition RM3901, which was round and much larger. It is wild to think about that this piece has more than 500 components and it is still so lightweight and small. Despite the addition of the G-Sensor, Tourbillon, and Chronograph complications, the watch's signature to no shaped case still measures a very comfortable 42.7 millimeters wide, 16.4 millimeters thick with a lug-to-lug -lug measurement of 50 millimeters. This is a watch that will look good and inspire awe regardless of your wrist size. Again, these are familiar measurements in the Richard Mill family tree, which we've routinely found to work extremely comfortably due to how light they are. We always have a few Richard Mills in stock, so please stop by any of our three locations in New York City, Miami, or Los Angeles to try some on. The lightness, which is a signature move for Richard Mill, is owed to its NTPT, Carmen Construction, North Thin Ply Technology. It's a mouthful but it is a process that creates a composite case with incredible resistance to stress. Each case is compromised of over 600 layers of ultra thin woven carbon filaments, which are superheated and compressed together before being individually CNC machined into case blanks, ultimately lending the finished case and bezel a unique waved appearance, kind of like wood grain or folded Damascus steel. Craftsmen from all different trades can appreciate this. At first glance, the watch might look super busy. However, upon closer inspection, we see a breakdown of the usual suspects. You have a running seconds counter at 6 o'clock, a 30-minute chronograph counter at 9 o'clock, started and stopped by the pushers at 8 and 10, respectively. Again, you have the gearbox indicator at 4 o'clock showing crown position, whether it's winding, neutral, or hand setting. And, of course, you have the yellow G sensor at 12 o'clock, which swings from 0 to a weighty 6 Gs. And it can be reset with a pusher just above the crowd at 2 o'clock. I haven't tested it yet myself in a vehicle, but please let me know if you do. To sum it all up, the Roman Grosjean RM5001 is a watch that merges the adrenaline-fueled world of Formula 1 racing with the elegance of high horology. It is a powerful statement piece that screams style, precision, and passion. The cool thing is, too, all Richard Mills look great on a variety of different straps. As always, we are happy to help you source whatever strap or watch you like, so please email me directly at hubert at and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.